already skated. He's in a battle with him for that last berth. With Honda withdrawing from this competition, I think the decision for the Japanese Federation has become even more cluttered because I think they were counting on him to skate here just to see where he was at. So we'll really have to wait and see. Opening quad attempt. First man to do it. Hangs on. It wasn't pretty, but he did it. <laughs> steps into the triple lat. Very, Very well solid. Done. Excellent. And to think that his last full training session back home before he left for Hamilton was on a rink with 25 other skaters, if you can believe it. Nobody else stopped skating while he went through his whole program. They just kept out of his way. Nobody got hurt. And the skaters, well, they said if they stand by the boards, they don't get enough ice time. Skaters get to know... <laughs> other skaters routines and you know when to stand back and get out of the way this is a jump that does give him some problems the triple axel and he doubles it it's important to remember though that the men have the choice in this short program of doing either a double or triple axel so although there's no deduction it's he simply won't score as highly on his base mark Well, he knows that the Japanese Federation is really favoring Daisuke Takahashi for that other berth right now. The young man was so much promise, and so he's really laying down a good skate here today to try to show them up. aggressive skate Yamato Tamura of Japan the Japanese champion he went for it his coach all excited Minoru Sano this young man can you imagine in Canada if the Canadian champion were in a battle for a world championship berth with a competitor who finished fourth in the national championship. That's the situation here between Tamura and his fellow countryman, Daisuke Takahashi, who currently sits sixth in this short program. It's the only one we've seen in this competition. Quad toe shows extreme patience there, waiting for everything to get into place before he puts the triple toe up, and he just hangs onto it. It's not the prettiest quad triple toe combination we've ever seen, but it is executed. It's the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you see a close up of his feet here. He's going to land, bends that right knee down while he waits for the rest of his body to get in a position, and then he vaults the triple toe up into the air and just fights to hang on to the landing. The question that we have to look at here is what he picked up on the quad did he give back when he only did a double axel? Let's see how the judges score it for Yamoto Tamura of Japan as we await his marks in required elements. Oh, the range 5 1 to 5 7. Now, presentation. Marks, please, presentation. 
5-2 to 5-7. 14 different judges have scored this very differently, and we'll never know which nine are actually contributing to the outcome here. Oh, There's look at this. Outcome. Look at the Ordinals. Enough to rank him second here. Moving ahead of Sandu and just behind Jeffrey Buttle of Canada. So 